Hi Floss Tube. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, if you are new here, my name is Mary Ashcraft. This is my channel where I talk about cross stitch and anything else I want to talk about. Um, speaking of one of those anything else I want to talk about, um, I, <laughs> I have my afternoon coffee. Wait, let me turn around so you can see the cute part. It is my Disneyland New Orleans Square mug. So that's the Haunted Mansion. And then it turns into Pirates of the Caribbean right there. I love this mug. This is like my favorite mug. This one and then like the classic Disneyland one are my favorite ones to drink out of. But I'm drinking afternoon coffee because I don't know about you, but it has just been one of those weeks, one of those days where I'm just so tired all the time. But the thing that is special about this coffee is I added peppermint hot chocolate to it. This is the peppermint hot chocolate from World Market. I think it's called like Cost Plus World Market. They only have this at Christmas time. Ours put out all their Christmas stuff already. We love this. I get this every year. There's another one that I like. Um, I don't remember the brand. I only know what it looks like. I have not been able to find it yet, but if you put this in to your coffee, it, you taste like, it tastes like a peppermint mocha from Starbucks. It's so good. And normally, like when I make just the peppermint hot chocolate, I put whipped cream on top and it's even better because who doesn't love whipped cream? So that is um, something I just had to share because it's delicious. Go get yourself one of those cans. Um, I try to have a video out each week um, but last week I didn't have a video. Um, my mom was here for a few days, so I just decided to forego it. Plus I had only stitched on one thing and I was like, that's not really exciting. So, um, I am back and this week has been rough. If you follow me on Instagram and you watch my Insta, Insta stories, you'll know. Um, Monday our water heater was leaking and water was coming out of our floor. And then yesterday, um, we found out that somebody broke into my husband's truck. So that was great. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. I feel like that meme of that dog sitting at a table and there's fire all around him, that's me right now. Um, but I am trying to stay positive. Saturday is Halloween. We are going to a pumpkin patch that has a train you can ride and my daughter's obsessed with trains right now. And um, so she has no idea. So she's gonna be very excited when we go. Um, just like two weeks ago, we went to the zoo and they had a dinosaur like walkthrough exhibit thing. And she went around and yelled roar at every single dinosaur. It was so cute. And if you go to my Instagram, you will see pictures and a video of that. Um, so Saturday, we're going to a pumpkin patch, not to buy pumpkins, we already bought our pumpkins. Um, we'll probably car carve them tomorrow, but um, just to have something to do on Halloween because I'm still on the fence about trick-or-treating. This would be her first year trick-or-treating. She's three, and so she doesn't know any better, but I'm leaning towards not doing it just because I'm just not sure. So, so we have something to do and can wear her costume and everything like that. She's going to be Minnie Mouse. My six month old, he turns six months tomorrow. Holy crap. This is like flying by this, this baby age wise. Um, I feel like my daughter took a lot longer and he's just flying by. Um, he's gonna be Mickey Mouse. So it's gonna be super cute. Um, so that's Saturday. Sunday, I am putting out my Christmas stuff. Say goodbye to the fall. When you see me next, you're gonna see Christmas, a Christmas tree right here. I am so ready for Christmas. Christmas is that one time of year where I am like just blissfully happy the entire time. Like nothing could go wrong except for four years ago when my dad died. But otherwise nothing could go wrong. Christmas is like my jam. So I am pumped after the year we've had and the week I've had. I'm ready, ready for some Christmas cheer. I'm already watching Hallmark movies and listening to Christmas music, so I am ready for it. Oh my gosh, like a 
peppermint mocha. I love it. Okay, so let's get into some stitching. All right, so first, my big project that I've been working on the most is the Hello Dear Stitch Along by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, so the nice thing about this is that the parts come out every two weeks on a Monday, Monday morning, but because it's in the UK and I'm in California, I get the next part Sunday evening. So for the first two parts, I started them um, during the second week of like that two week period. And I felt like I was racing to try to get it done before the next part came out, even though I knew I wasn't gonna start it right away. Well, this time I decided I would start it right away, get it out of the way, and so I can work on other things. And I feel like, I don't know if it's, this section is smaller, but I feel like it's going way faster. So I'm definitely gonna do this for the next however many parts. Um, oh, you know what, let me take this out of the cue snap. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, I was actually working on this today. I had a court call and um, my iPad, I can't really do much on it except answer emails. So I was like, well, I'll just stitch. And so I actually got quite a bit done. Um, so and for those of you who are confused about that little anecdote, I'm a full-time attorney. So um, uh, that's why I was on the, the phone with the court. And I'm talking to a judge. So here is Hello Dear. I'm just like, I love this so much. Okay, so part one is this part with the, with the robin. Part two was up here with the squirrel. And this is part three with the rabbit. So the only thing I have left to do is finish that rabbit and you better believe I will stay up tonight to finish it. Better believe it. I am not gonna let another day go by not having this done. <laughs> so I, I think this is just, this is turning out to be the cutest, the funnest, I know that's not a word. It's just, I love it so much. Um, I did mess up though and I, I am not gonna go frog it. So the other night, um, I messed up. I had this whole part up one and it didn't work out with everything else. So I had to frog like a good portion of this ear to be able to move this down and do the rest. So I don't know if you can notice, probably won't notice until I point it out, but what I messed up on is the bunny's eyes. I'm supposed to have two squares of white, just like the squirrel. So I think what I'm gonna do, because I haven't done any of the white, it calls for, what is it? B5200, it's like DMC Snow White. Um, I haven't done any of that yet. I'm kind of saving it for the end, um, just so I can then go through and just do all the white at one time. Or I'll wait maybe until this last part of the tree and then I'll go through and do it all up here and then because then I'll have just the trunk um so what I'm thinking is maybe just doing a little bit of white maybe one strand of white over those two squares that were it's supposed to be just so that there's a little bit of dimension I don't know but I just I love this and this this section that I'm doing, part three, I feel like just went by so much faster than either of these two parts. So um, I can't decide who I like more, the bunny or the squirrel. And I feel like such an idiot. It took me the longest time to realize he's holding an acorn. I thought that was his chest for some reason. Make that make sense. I don't know. Um, so I just, I love that squirrel. I love the squirrel and I love the bunny. And so I just, I love this piece. And um, so also I wanted to shout out, what is it? Oh gosh, Craftivating, Craftivating Creative, oh my gosh. Um, she is from the UK. She is also, 
Craftivating Creations. That's what it is. Her name's Sean, I believe. Um, she is so adorable, but she is also doing Hello Dear. And she shouted me out in one of her videos. So I just wanted to say thank you. And I love your channel. I've been watching your videos, um, if you're watching this. And so um, thank you so much. I, I love this. I love to see everybody else's progress on this. Um, another one who's doing this is um, Kristen from the Steel City Stitchers. She is like banging it out, man. She's getting each part done so quickly and keeping up with it. And I'm, I'm so proud of her because I, I mean, I've watched so many of their videos, but she normally falls behind on stitch alongs. No offense, Kristen, but um, she's been able to keep up with this one. So I just, I love watching everybody else's progress. So this is Hello Dear. And um, I'm keeping, oh my goodness, all the parts. I'm keeping this one in my London bag because obviously it's a UK based company. You gotta do it. And I love it. This um, is a seller on Etsy. Love her stuff. Um, she's from Canada, fastest shipping ever. Um, and I also bought the little, the little one that comes with it. Oh, I know what I was gonna mention. So, I have been keeping my flosses in little bags and then I, I put the number on there and I stuff them in. With these ones, I hadn't put them in bags yet, so if I have extra floss, I just wrap it around like this. I fold it in half and wrap it around, okay? But as I'm pulling out the thread from like the actual thing, it gets all like, um, I don't think I have any that look like it, but it gets really tangled up. So I was getting really frustrated and I didn't wanna have it just kind of all tangled in the bag. So I decided I bought a pack of bobbins and I've been, if that, if that happens where they get all tangled as I am trying to pull out strands, I've been putting them on bobbins. Um, I did start by putting them like that, even though I'm writing it up there just in case something happens. But then later I start, and you can barely even see it, I started folding them and sticking them underneath. I don't think you can see it. You can see it barely right there. So, you know, just in case something happens and the number wears off, I still know what it is. So um, I'm enjoying the bobbins. I'm still up in the air if I'll bobbinate all of my flosses. Um, I am a sort of a minimalist. We are, we are working our way towards minimalism. So I like bobbins because it takes up less space and I have all of, right now, um, all of my flosses in this box and ones that I still need to put in bags. So I don't have a ton of floss right now, um, but I, I feel like as I continue to grow my stash, if I'm doing the bags, I'm gonna have more and more of these boxes. Um, and I don't know if I like that idea. So I'm, I keep going back and forth about doing the bags versus the bobbins. Um, I am in a ton of Facebook groups for, um, like different cross stitch designers and companies and stuff. And every time somebody asks about floss storage, I like, I read all of the comments to see what everybody else is doing. Cause I want to figure out the best solution for myself. So still playing with, with my floss storage. Um, but that's kind of what I'm doing now to kind of solve the, the problem of having everything, um, get all tangled up. So that's Hello Dear. Um, and so I finished part two of Hello Dear <clears throat> Saturday afternoon. So I decided on Saturday night I was gonna work on something else. And I started working on, finally, my Paul Hollywood project. Um, so it is Sugar is Sweet by the Frosted Pumpkins. And it is called the Paul Hollywood Project because the alphabet is going to be replaced and a quote that says, you deserve a Paul Hollywood handshake is gonna go in there. And um, I'm doing this for my best friend and she also is not a huge fan of pink. So I'm doing color conversion 
and changing a lot of the pinks and reds to like teals, blues, and greens. So seeing this, this is all I have done. Just this little bottom portion. I'm going to do the quote last because um, my best friend's a graphic designer. So I told her to choose the typeface and design how she wants the quote to look and then I'll chart it. And um, so I just figured I would do it last. So I'm starting and then I'm gonna go kind of around in a circle or go you know, up type of thing. Um, so yeah, so I just have the lace that's on bottom and some icing on the cake and uh, started on a macaroon, 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 however you want to pronounce it. Um, so I feel like this stitch might take me a little bit longer than I think I normally would take just doing it as is because as I'm doing the different colors, I'm, you know, I'm using like the darker color here. I'm using my darkest teal, but as I go up, I don't necessarily think that method is going to work for all of like all of this dark pink may not work for all the other dark pinks up here. So I'm kind of taking it color by color, dessert by dessert, you know, as I go through. And um, so that's, that's the only other thing I've worked on um, because I've really been working on Hello Dear exclusively for the last two weeks pretty much. Um, and I only had about two hours of stitching on this, um, which doesn't seem like a lot, but this, this took me a while because I counted this top row for the um, lace like 10 times to make sure I had it right. Um, because I really, really did not want to go through and have to frog that. No, thank you. So um, I'm liking, I love this color. It's like a coral color or like a peachy coral, it's super cute, and I like it. Um, and I am keeping that, and we will switch and transition into my haul section because I'm keeping that in a new project bag. Um, these are made by Little Yellow House Crafts, by, and um, her name is Nell, and she has her own floss tube channel. I will link it down below. Um, I love her channel. I think she is just so positive and I don't know, she's just like, she, I, I just, I'm so captivated when I watch her. Um, I really enjoy her channel. So when she said she was gonna have a bag sale, I was like, yes please. And then when she said, like she wrote the list of um, the fabrics she was going to have or like the themes and one of them was the ninth, no not the ninth, the 11th doctor, I was like, even more yes please because, so this is Doctor Who, if you don't know. Um, the reason this is so special and the reason I am keeping my best friend's project in this in particular is because my best friend and I, we were seniors in college and um, we discovered Doctor Who and I started watching it and then I got her hooked on it and um, we have matching tattoos. So. We both have a mine's on my left arm, hers is on her right, and it says we're all stories in the end. And um, it was a quote from the 11th Doctor. Um, okay, so I just had to take a, a quick break for a second. Um, so we have matching tattoos, and every time that we're together, we um, take a picture of them in a very specific way. And um, so you can see, so that's my best friend, Brooke, and that, those are our tattoos. So, um, so I love, I love this bag and I love these because they don't have any of like the, the batting in them, um, doesn't have the vinyl. So Nell said that the whole reason why she designed them this way is that for her, the idea of a project bag is that the bag gets dirty so that your project is not. So if the bag gets dirty, she wants to be able to throw it in the wash and being a mom myself, I love that idea. Um, I hate when, when clothes have very specific instructions on how to wash them, like my child's Minnie Mouse costume. So, um, so it's super cute. She has four different sizes. This is the big bag, holds an eight by eight Q-snap. This is the bitty bag, I think it's the bitty bag. So it's slightly smaller. And in this one, I'm keeping all the floss. 
um, but it's the same thing, same inside and everything. And then she has one that's even bigger and then one that's like gigantic. Um, so she sells them on her Facebook group. And um, so I, I got them, it was really quick shipping. Um, sorry, no, stop it. <laughs> Don't, I'm, I'm not the greatest with videos yet. Don't hate me for it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like I'm a glowing angel. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So yes, so that's what I'm doing with this one. <laughs> okay, so then another thing that I, I received, let me take everything out of it so you can see it. Um, I bought another project bag because they've become the thing that I'm obsessed with. Um, and I, lo I love Disney. I love Disney. And I love Paris. So when I saw this one, I had to get it. I could not not get it. And so in this one, I am keeping my little, I haven't started them yet, all my Autumn Lane Stitchery Santas that I'm doing from the Jess Cross Stitch um, ornament edition from this year. Oh, you can just barely see it, that little guy. Um, and so keeping it in there and this seller sent some Ada, some 14 count Ada, I think. Yeah. 14 count Ada. So it's kind of like an off white. Um, so that was really nice. Um, another thing I think, I think this is the last thing that I got. Um, I mentioned that <coughs> loud noises. Um, I mentioned that I ordered the um, Frosted Pumpkins new Stitch Along, which is a Christmas wreath. Um, if you or I pull up Instagram, um, it is a year long Stitch Along. It starts in November. It's a Christmas wreath. And so here's one of the previews. How cute. That snowman and that reindeer. Those stars remind me of um, Mario. Is it Mario that I'm thinking of? I think so. And then there's another sneak peek. I love the snowflake ornament right there. And it looks like maybe there's a house in the center. I don't know. But I got everything for that because I ordered the kit. So it came way nicely packaged, uh, more nicely than this. But here are the beautiful, beautiful colors. Love it. And the fabric is um, a 14 count Ada in Heartland by Picture This Plus. So it's, it's like a tan color. Um, and I'm thinking, I mean, I'm planning on doing it on this, but also based on the previews, I don't know how much I'm gonna love a tan pillow. So I'm debating about changing the fabric and just saving this for a different project. Um, they, so the kit came with the, the fabric, three little buttons, so cute. And then all the glass. Um, and then I also ordered the needle minder that came out with it. Um, the only needle minders that I have are from Frosted Pumpkins. They're wood and I love them. Um, so it's super, super cute. And with every order, because I've ordered from them before and I've gotten the same thing, um, you get this little card and on the other side, I'm not gonna show you, but on the other side there's a pattern for I think a cupcake because it says enjoy stitching up this sweet little cupcake. Um, I have one already. I don't know if I'll ever stitch this. So I decided, I'm gonna do my first giveaway. And so, because I have two of these, I'm gonna give away two. Um, rules are, be subscribed to my channel. Um, do not say giveaway, whether as one word or two words in your comment. Um, be 18 and over or older, so you can legally give me your address. Um, and that's it. Um, and all you have to do is comment down below and say the word cupcake somewhere in 
your comment, whether you wanna say, I, want, I would like to stitch the cupcake, or you can tell me your favorite cupcake flavor, or if you even like cupcakes. Um, just say something where cupcake is in the word, or is in your comment, and I will pick two people to send this to. Um, and then, um, I showed this last time, but when I ordered from Stitches and Things, which is an LNS in um, Michigan, they sent me a little paper that really fast, you won't be able to see it. <laughs> a little paper that has patterns on it. So one is by Autumn Lane Stitchery. It is a, oh wait, I can probably show you this one because you won't be able to see the pattern. It's this one. It's a witch's hat, it says mood. And then on the back side is some other ones. They don't have pictures that come with it. So if you want to, um, I'm gonna give this away to somebody else. If you want to win this, use the word um, mood. Does that say anything else? Current mood, it says current mood. Um, so just use the word mood um, or yeah, mood. Um, so I would like to stitch the cupcake. I would like to stitch the mood. Um, I probably could have used autumn and that would have been making a lot more sense, but oh well. So I'm gonna give these away to three people um, and that's it. So hopefully, because I took that little pause and I'm not super tech savvy with videos, I'll be able to mash these two videos together in a seemingly coherent way. Um, as a recap, go get yourself some peppermint hot chocolate. Um, comment down below, tell me what you're doing for Halloween. Tell me when you're putting up your Christmas decor, if you're gonna be like me and put them up on November 1st. Um, I, I get some, some flack from family and friends who say, you shouldn't put it up before Thanksgiving. Um, you know, don't you care about Thanksgiving? And I look at it like, every day should be Thanksgiving. In an ideal world, you should always be giving thanks for things you are thankful for. Um, I don't need to have one dedicated day, just like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is a big one for me. I don't hate it, but like, we don't do anything special because I'm like, I should love my husband every day. But if, if Valentine's Day is your favorite holiday or Thanksgiving, it's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, so plus I feel like Christmas joy, like it goes along with the whole being thankful thing for Thanksgiving. Um, plus I feel like this year there's probably gonna be a lot of like stuff about um, Thanksgiving in general, the idea behind Thanksgiving, Christopher Columbus, indigenous people, kind of like um, with, Columbus Day this year, um, Artist Designs um, designed uh, a stitch that said no new worlds because there were people living here before Columbus came. He didn't discover this place, it already existed. So that's another thing where I'm just like, Thanksgiving's just another day uh, to have an excuse to eat a lot of food. And I'm not complaining because I make a really good turkey. Um, so, I think Christmas just extends the whole thankful thing. Um, anyways, sorry for that rant. Um, yeah, so tell me what you're doing for Halloween. Tell me what you are doing for Christmas decor. If you are gonna be like me, set it up early or not. Um, Christmas is my favorite time of year. I love it. I look forward to it every single year. So don't hate me for it. All right, I will see you next week. Bye.